Assalamu alaikum dear students this is Rabia Rasool from Asaram Welkin Higher Secondary School Sopor today i'm here with a topic kal nucleus and in this video lecture we will see the electron microscopic structure and the functions of the nucleus nucleus as a cell organelle was first discovered by robert brown in 1831 A synonym word for this organelle is the Greek word karyon. The nucleus can be called as the controlling center of the cell since it contains the chromosomes and the genes which ultimately control all the activities of the individual cell. Generally, there is a single nucleus per cell. They are known as mononucleated cells. but more than one nucleus can be found in certain cells and they are known as polynucleated cells there are variations with respect to the shape of the nucleus also it may be spherical oval to flattened or irregular in shape in most of the cases it has a regular outline but may also have an irregular outline the size of the nucleus would also vary not only depending upon the type of the cell involved but also according to the activity of the cell the nucleus will be larger in an active cell but will be smaller in a resting cell a nucleus has been described as having four important parts namely a nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope or karyotheca nucleoplasm or karyoplasm nucleolus and chromatin matter the nuclear boundary of interface and prophase nucleus is called nuclear envelope which usually breaks down at the end of prophase it's actually a mechanical boundary between nucleoplasm and cytoplasm and functions to facilitate the regulation of nucleocytoplasmic interactions the envelope consists of a double membrane that is having two unit membranes the space between these two unit membranes varies in width and is known as perinuclear space this membrane is not continuous but is interrupted by octagonal pores which are known as nuclear pores these pores provide direct contact between nucleus and cytoplasm the regulation of the active opening and closing of the pores allow the escape of mrna which is synthesized inside the nucleus and then reaches the cytoplasm for protein synthesis The second part of the nucleus is the nucleoplasm. The space between the nuclear membrane and nucleolus is filled by a transparent semi-liquid watery substance known as nucleoplasm or karyoplasm. The nucleoplasm contains dissolved phosphorus, ribose sugars, proteins, nucleotides and nucleic acids the nucleoplasm contains certain thread like elongated structures known as chromatin the next part of the nucleus is the nucleolus in higher organisms every cell nucleus has a spherical colloidal body called nucleolus The nucleolus is associated with a particular nucleolar organizing chromosome. A special region in this chromosome is known as the nucleolar organizing region to which usually the nucleolus is found attached. The nucleolus mainly consists of RNA, acidic dyes, basic dyes, phospholipids, alkaline phosphatase and nucleolar dna although various functions have been assigned to the nucleolus 
Presently, it is believed that the most important function of the nucleolus is the synthesis of ribosomal RNA, that is rRNA. The last part of the nucleus is the chromatin matter. The interface nucleus has a loose and indistinct network of nucleoprotein fibers called chromatin. But during different stages of cell division, it forms rod-like structures called as chromosomes. Chromatin contains DNA and some basic proteins called histones, some non-histone proteins and also RNA. A single human cell has approximately 2 meter long thread of DNA distributed among its 46 chromosomes. Now, we will see about the different functions of nucleus. First, nucleus controls all the other cell organelles and is an essential and integral part of an eukaryotic cell. Second, it stores genetic information required for the growth and development of organism. Third, it transfers all the genetic information to the next generation. Fourth, it also controls all the metabolism and other activities through the formation of enzymes. With this, we will stop over here.